Nyangam je punya sekal. Rong she tak tanya sekal tak kata kan dah dua. Aku ya pet ye bama semua. Welcome to our Hmong uh, online lessons once again. I hope you enjoy our last lesson. What he just shared in Yane, you only know on Chicken or Chick, I can do a door and in Jota Matia. Okay, today we are going to learn some new word and we are going to um, learn some new sound. Okay, but just before we start, Nyajong. Nyajong Shadal. Do you remember how to say? Nyanjong. Nepua no kanyanjong. Hu no kanyanjong. Okay, we're gonna start with greeting. Nyanjong. Hi. Nepua no kanyanjong. Ne pua no ka nyong jong. So it's that. Ne pua no ka nyong jong. Are you well? You can say that. How are you? Ne pua no ka nyong jong. So how do you say if you say it more? I am fine. U nyo I'm fine. I am fine. Nyong is say hello, hi, or hello. Nepo no ka nyong. Are you? Okay. Are you like it's kind like are you are you well? I'm fine. I'm well. What happened if you say I'm not well? So today I'm going to teach you the word not. The word G. It's almost like the English uh the, the name of that this letter G. G that mean not. You put G. So this is a very important word like Gu Chi Nyong. I'm not well. Do you remember the do you remember a long time ago we learned about I have a headache? Gu Chi Nyong. Gu I'm gonna write this one and see. If you can read it, okay? Gu 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 Mo Ta Hao I have a headache. Gu chi nyo jong. Gu nyo. Gu mo to hao. I'm not well. See, this one says, I not well. I have a headache. Okay, so this is just recap very quickly. We're going to say that again. Nyo jong. Ne pua no ka nyo jong. Gu nyo jong. Gu ji nyo jong. Gu. Mo, to, hao. 
Okay? So this is our greeting. Okay, now we are going to check how many letters we have learned so far. Now, let's see if I can get this right. Do, 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 be, fo, fu, ho, hao, go, gao, lo, lie, mo, mi, no, no, po, Ba, o, e, dro, dia, sho, sha, to, tao, wo, wau, ki, so, sao, yo, ya. Jo, ja. Or we can say yo, yi. Or we can say jo, jo. Okay. Jo, do, fo, ho. Go, lo, mo, no, po, o, dro, sho, to, Wa, sa, ya, ja. Okay, so this is our letter. This is the um the single letter. And all together, how many single letters do we have? Let's count. E, o, b, blau, g, dao. Xia Yi Dua Gao Go Yi Go O Go B Go Blau Go Chi Go Dao Go Xia We must go Xia to Qian Da Zi Da So we have 17 single alphabet letter Remember that the total, the total more alphabet letter, we have 56. And this is the first 17. Okay, so this will have a long way to go. Now I'm going to move this out. So we know some of this letter. And we are going to um, put them into word. We'll do that later. <coughs> Some nyo, uh, the letter nyo for you. This is nyo jong. Nyo jong. Nyo, it's stay or leave, isn't it? Remember what we, this is stay or leave. Nya, nya, it could be uh, sister in law. Or daughter in law. Alright. Daughter in law or sister in law. Or we can say uh, flat. If it's a word that is flooded. New, that means hard. As difficult, right? Difficult.
nie, like, nie, read, and nie, it's glasses. So, oh, nie, zhong, you know how nie, zhong, nie, zhong is hi, nie, by itself, it's stay or it's leave. Gu nyo Australia. I live in Australia, or you can say I stay in Australia. Gu nyo Melbourne. Gu nyo Brisbane. Gu nyo Sydney. Gu nyo Hobart. Gu nyo Thai te. I live or I stay in Thailand. Thailand's Thai te. Okay. Nya, nya, it could be sister in law. Gu tu nya, my sister in law. Nya, that's a word. That's a noun. Okay, this is a noun and this is a word. Flatten. De nya water flooded. De nya peluche. So water flat our house. Oh, a uh, newer newer is difficult. Ha, gần tới mong newer hang. Learning mong it's so hard. I'm just joking. It's not that hard, isn't it? Newer. Nia Gu Nia Go Da Mong I like learning Mong Nyang Read Gu Nia Nyang Da Mong I like reading Mong Nyo Nyo That many glasses Nyo they they hang Our grass have grown longer now. Yochu have to go and mow the lawn or have to go cut the grasses. Okay, that's just for our um, our, our, our our intro. Now, Last week we did some counting, but this time I'm gonna skip counting, right? Because I know that you can count one to uh, fifty, but I'm, we are going to count by ten only, right? Say go. I'm gonna write the word here again. Go. Do it here. Go. Nang go. Be go. Flow, do, ji do, rau do, xia do, yi do, chua do, and the yi bua. Okay. Now, which bring me to um, a new, a new sound, a new tone letter. We have learned about ji xia. This is a high tone. We have learned monotone ji nia. Now we are going to learn ji neng. That's been the people tone. Ji neng. All the word that it's ending with ji, we call ji neng. Jinneng is the, the people term. And I have all the jinneng here. Now we take this off. Like I said, we have learned about all the jishia word. Let's recap that again. A, E, I, O, U, U, I, E, Ao, ua, ao, an, ong. 
Now, the mother, the mother tongue sound with all the vowel together. Ah, a, e, o, o, u, i, e, a. Ow. Whoa. Oh, sorry. No. Ow. Whoa. Ow. Ang. Ong. That's all the sound in the um, near the mother tongue. And now we are going to learn the. What is this one? We call this is the proper name is called D. Nung. Why is called D now? Because Nung. That's Nung is the people or person, doesn't matter. Because it's ending with G and D Nung. Right. And here is all our. Um, our um, the name, you know, um, sound with the um, the bell. Let's go through this again. Ah, ah, the uh, you know how we we do ah, tisha, ah, ah, and this this one said ah, right? It's the ah shaking. Ah, you almost have to saturate your word. Ah, it's like drop. Boom, like that. Ah, okay, so we say, ah, e, e, o, u, u, i, e, a, ow. Wah. Oh. Ang. Ong. Got it? Wow. I'm going to pick one sound and we are all going to learn. <coughs> Let's go back to our counting by ten. <coughs> Gao. Nang Gao. Be do, blow do, ji do, draw do, sha do, yi do, do do, yi bo. Now, which one is that is have a name a g ending a g? We have nang go, be do, blow do, ji do or ending. But I'm going to choose one letter. One word from here. I'm going to choose this word. What's beto? Beto is kind of, it's very, um, it's not only 30, but in, in Hmong. Beto is like New Year. It can mean beto, New Year. Belu, beto. Our New Year. So, we're going to have the the owl sound, okay? <coughs> so, we are doing this owl sound. Let's see. We're doing this owl sound. Let me see. We have... Okay. This is our neutral. Owl. Where's owl? Owl, drow. Look here. Drow. Owl, drow. Ow, but we want to, ow, so we're going to have to add the, that's, so this is ow, 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 that's a sound, ow, be, yo, see, ow, because jaw and ow become yo, right, yo, so we can add like be, Yo. 
That's what it's called the tail sound. Be yo, yo, right? What are the owl sound? It's uh, the common sound. Be yo, we can say that. Um, another word is probably like. What is this word? Da ow, da, da okay. That been walk. Pay down thirty or what we call New Year. What are the common words that we're using? <coughs> I'm going to probably this one. That is the letter is the O P O O O O O. That means drunk. Or what's the proper drunk? Or we can say um, yeah, drunk. Oh, Joe, drunk. Okay, I'm gonna pick another word. <coughs> um, hmm, what can I put? Maybe another <coughs> word is. Law. Low, ow, low, low, just been wasted, like wasted time. Low, she ho. Okay. See whether you can read this. You can read this this sentence. It might sound a very long sentence. <coughs> what can you learn? What can you know about this? <coughs> Be, because you know that you know this is a sound, right? I'm going to put the Oh sound. What is that? Oh oh sound. Oh sound. Oh sound. Oh in here again. <coughs> you know this word is pe tao. Pe see pe by itself. Pe is number three or ow as. Pe mong lu pe tiao nyo trao lu to o bi lu. Basically, it said our Mong New Year is in December. Go o mean the twelve the twelve months, which is December. Go o bi lu. Go o twelve month bi lu. Pe mong lu. Got it? Now, you also know, no, this is, this is out, out, isn't it? Out, go, out, go. You should be able to, to put the two sounds together, right? Draw, draw, out, draw, draw, is, see? Draw could be number six. Or could be at, or could be for, but in this instance, it's um in. 
Bên hôn lu bê chào nhỏ chào lu cậu ô hình dù Right So that bê chào What is this word? Same as this one. Pay, it's like as pay, pay street. Oh, this one's V. Now, this one's V. This time, it changed to V. Pay mu tau ke. Tau ke, that's been walk. Was she? We go for a walk. Basically, that's what it says. Was she? Pay mu tau ke. Was she? Oh, you can say, I'm drunk, drunk from drinking wine or spirit. Is it getting harder? Well, let me know, right? If it's getting harder, because I thought instead of learning the word, uh, the letter, the vowel, and the tone. Now we are learning a new word and put uh, a few word into a sentence. And we are learning to write a few short sentence and we'll put them in a paragraph. So this is just our sentence, okay? Pemong lu pe chao nyo chao lu ko o hindu. Pemu toke wo shi. Got that? Now I'm going to wrap this up. <clears throat> like I said, oh here. Oh. This is oh, this is the G, right? Oh. It could be oh duh. Oh duh. That means um, you are drunk, drunk because you're drinking wine, right? Who? Who remember this word? Can you read this sentence? Gu zi o jo. My dad zi pia. Gu zi o jo. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now up here, we, we say it's wasted, like waste your time. Uh, it things are wasted, right? But if you put the, the word ti lao ti, right? This this word ti in front of lao ti lao, then become it's like your older brother ti lao, older brother. Go to ti lao older, my older brother. Is drunk. Guji Oja, my father is drunk. Got it? Right. Getting hard now. Getting a little bit uh, tricky now. Okay? So this is our our word, our our sounds word. Okay? There's still many, many of them, but I thought I'd choose a, 
a few of the um, the common um, our work to show you, and we'll learn as we go, right? This is our sound, right? Now, are this enough for the out sound today? We are going to um, learn. Um, remember last week I said about learn some color. Do you still remember some of the color? Have you learned? Ah, oh, you don't remember? Wow, you haven't learned your lesson. What do we say this color? Mm, I'm going to trick you. <coughs> Is it sida or sidu? Yes, you're right. It's sidu. Sida. Dal is white. Do it's black. How do we say? I like black color. Can you write that down? Unia si do. I like white color. Unia si dal. Now I'm going to teach this one. This one is Celia. I'm going to write in here. And Leah in here, someone remind me that, oh, Leah is, has another meaning too. Leah, it can mean monkey. It can mean red color. And it's also a name. How do we know how to use? It depends how you put it into it, right? I'm going to write this one for you if you right. Okay, what we say. Okay. Can you read that sentence to me? whose name is Leah. Leah likes red color. Got it? 